Happy Cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. Space Adventure. One evening, it was snowing so hard that the kittens had to stay in. So bored. We have to find something to do. But what, though? Hey, look! The snow kind of looks like falling stars. Let's imagine we're floating in space. Oh. Awesome! Listen up. We're going on a cosmic adventure. All right! We'll fly with the stars. So, so awesome! awesome. Well, there's no gravity in space, so we should be floating. Ha! Great idea! Let's do it! Gosh, trying to float is really hard. I'm getting worn out fighting gravity. Whew. Then why don't we build a spaceship to fly around in? The kittens used Mommy's yarn box as the ship's body. Then they found some card to use as wings and gathered a funnel, a whisk, and some bagels. And stuck them all onto the box. Finally, their spaceship was ready to fly. This is your space captain speaking. Prepare yourselves for takeoff. Space navigator here, ready to take off, sir. Spaceship, uh, uh, mechanic? Starting up the engine, sir. Uh, we're, we're flying! flying. <laughs> <laughs> Comet storm directly ahead, sir. <laughs> Space monsters. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy. We thought that you were alien space monsters. <laughs> what have you crazy kittens been doing? Oh, we're just having a big space adventure. It looks more like a big woolly mess. You'd better start sorting it out. It's almost your bedtime. But what about our super cool spaceship? This is our life's work, this ship. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, please. This is Mission Control calling Astro Kittens. I have an important mission that only the best kittens can handle. This space debris must be cleaned up quick, or else it might crash into the cat colony. Do you copy? Over. Loud and clear. The Astro Kitties accept the mission. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with all these comets? We'll transport them to Planet Cabinet. <laughs> Kitchen floor asteroid field! Let's put them back into their proper drawers. Uh, I mean, back into orbit. Look at these paper meteors! Oh no, they're scattered everywhere! Let's get them to the Space Station Library! Wow, look at them go! And all of this icky space litter needs to be thrown into the garbage bag black hole! Whoa, that's, that's a, lot a lot of space, space garbage. garbage! I know what has to be done! We have to take it on a spacewalk outside! It's cold out in space! You'll all need your spacesuits! <laughs> it's a bunch of weird space monsters. <laughs> nah, it's just us, Daddy. We've totally completed our mission. That's just great. It's time to get ready for bed. Then I'll come tell you a story about the cosmos. Including three Astro Kitties. So, so awesome! awesome. Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Mommy and Daddy made a very special starry sky in the kitten's room. And the kittens listened to their dad's Astro Kitty stories and looked forward to dreams that would be out of this world. Treasures of Ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting. Nah, not really. 
How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mm, somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today, it's the weekend. Wake up, kids! Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful! <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> right, Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. But that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> oh! Hooray! We finally found the treasures of the pyramid! I can't wait to see it! Come on, huh? let's open it! Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? <laughs> ah! Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 oh. Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens, who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. A whale of a time. One day, Daddy wanted to take a picture of a great big whale to enter in a wildlife magazine photo contest. So the whole family went out on Grandpa's boat. <laughs> okay, big smiles. Hmm. Yo-ho! <laughs> Are we all ready for an ocean adventure? Oh, yeah! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Giant whales! Come on, it's picture time! Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm hearing things. 
Oh, I'm not feeling very good. Oh, no, Pudding. It looks like you have seasickness. What does that mean? Seasickness? Is Pudding going to grow a tail like a little fishy? Hi. Huh? Ah! Or maybe Pudding will just turn into a cup of ocean water. Uh -huh. oh, I don't want to become ocean water. I already feel sick. Cookie, Candy, please stop scaring your brother. Seasickness is just when someone gets an upset tummy from rocking on the waves. Hey, Pudding, you just need a distraction. Why don't you try to catch us something yummy to have for lunch? But if you catch a big whale, be sure to give me a yell. Fishing helped Pudding feel much better. Whale! Whale! Uh, uh, I was too late. Candy was helping Mommy get ready to serve lunch. <gasps> Looks like you should probably feed these hungry seagulls, or we'll be left with no lunch at all. <laughs> Yay! Uh... Oh, I missed my chance again. <gasps> Cookie went to the bridge to see Grandpa drive the boat. <laughs> the thing to remember is to hold the wheel steady so the boat stays right on course. Cookie, here, give her a try. <sighs> ha! This is great! I'm really driving the boat, Grandpa! Huh? <laughs> The thing to remember is to hold the wheel so the boat stays on course. Suddenly, the weather changed, and the wind rocked the boat. Oh, oh goodness! Oh! Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I missed him again. Uh, uh, cookie, uh, I just keep holding the wheel steady, okay? Uh, I won't let go. Uh, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Soon the wind died back down and the boat stopped rocking. Uh. Oh. Ah. Now that was a peaceful nap. Looks like the ocean stayed peaceful then. Yay for Captain Cookie! Wonderful driving! <laughs> okay, big smiles. Oh, I think I've got one. Oh! Har, big smiles, everybody. <laughs> Taking a photo of the whale was much harder than Daddy expected. But with the help of the whole family, he got a better picture than he ever could have imagined. Kitty kites! One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. Love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Yeah, or play badminton. And Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. <laughs> Hey, come back! Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. Sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. 
I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail, small with a long tail, and medium with no tail at all. The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. Where are you, silly wind? We need you. Come back. We'll never fly our perfect awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right, then. Let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly. <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kites soaring high in the sky, even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. Packing a bag. One day, Daddy said he had to go on a business trip to another city. Look at my train ticket, everyone. It leaves at 3 o'clock. I'm going to a big baking conference. Oh, that's wonderful and exciting, my darling. Oh, there's not much time. I need to get you all packed up. Look, they're running everywhere like crazy. Well, of course, because it's very important work to pack for a business trip. You have to make sure to remember everything you might need. Then let's help Daddy with packing his stuff. That way he won't forget anything too important. Let's, let's help, help him! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, what does Dad need to take with him? Washing stuff, right? Toothbrush, oh. towel. Shower cap, soap, and bath sponge, hair dryer! We have to remember to pack this, too. The rubber ducky Daddy always takes his baths with. Right, and now we need some eating and sleeping stuff. First, he'll need some things to cook his dinner with. And some plates, and forks, spoons, and cups, a pillow. And a kettle, just in case he wants to make tea. And with tea, you need jam, raspberry or strawberry. Why not pack both? Goodness, I almost forgot the napkins. He'll need warm clothes like sweaters and scarves in case it gets cold. And an umbrella in case it rains. And 
flippers in case he wants to swim. And an air mattress wrap for floods. Oh, 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 oh. Great! What else now? The kitty cats thought very hard about all the things Daddy might need. Now we need to pack it all into suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. All that was left to do was to close up the suitcases. Yay! We're the best! We got Daddy all packed up! Daddy! Goodness! Are we moving, kittens? We packed for Daddy. He's completely ready to go. Oh, wow. That's very sweet, my darlings. Well, uh, isn't it a bit much for a two-day trip? Uh, oh! I have a really good idea. We should take out what you might not need and leave only the things that you really have to take. It turned out all the things Daddy really needed fit into his briefcase. Now I'm all ready to go. Oh, wow, there's just a half hour till the train leaves. I'll just grab my ticket. Uh, oh, 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 my whiskers. I lost my ticket. Right, just stay calm. Now, kittens, let's search for Daddy's ticket. Thanks, but uh -huh. now it's too late. My train just left. I guess no business trip for me. Oh, no. And we worked so hard to get you packed up. <laughs> hmm. It's good that his packing is done with plenty of time to spare, because your train really doesn't leave until tomorrow, darling. What? It looks like you just mixed up the dates. Oh, yes, I did. Goodness, I'm silly. Then Daddy gets to take his business trip after all? Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Since Daddy was already all ready for his trip, he didn't have to rush, so he had plenty of time for a lovely evening with the kittens. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just gonna go take mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show! Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away! Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, Thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin. 
Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Uh, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. Oh. <laughs> but we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're gonna need is eggs. And flour, right? Oh. Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah, uh, darling, look there! The sun is coming out! Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me! It's really, really cheering me up! I'm beginning to feel better already! Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, Mommy? I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun times. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> Oh, no, my phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. Huh. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Ha <gasps> <laughs> ha, Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. The Day of the Black Cat. One day, the kitty cats and their friends were getting ready to celebrate the Day of the Black Cat. Well, here he is, our lucky black cat. I'll get everything ready so we can start. Daddy hid the lucky black cat in a secret spot and left clues and hints around to help the kittens find him. <laughs> now, kittens, if you can find the black cat before 6 p.m., well, then you'll be able to grab good luck right by the tail as the legend goes. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look! I don't think the black cat would fit inside that small box. Huh, it's my whistle. It's really pretty and shiny. Uh, I guess that it's some kind of clue, guys. Maybe we're supposed to blow it. <gasps> oh! <gasps> hey, we need that whistle. It's a clue. <laughs> There's a clue in here! Raspberries. I think it means we should go to the raspberry bush in the park. Oh. <laughs> the quest Daddy had put together for the kittens was not an easy one. <laughs> but after a lot of hard work, they finally found the last clue. Hidden somewhere in our house. Come on, hurry! Guys, wait! Where is Smudge? Hey, Smudge! Hey, maybe we buried him at the sandbox accidentally. <laughs> the magpie could have swooped down and taken Smudge. won't grab luck by its tail. Smudge is our friend. That's more important than grabbing good luck. Hey, hey Smudge! Smudgy! Hey, Smudge! Oh. oh, these are Smudge's footprints. 
Huh? It's Smudge! Help me, guys! I can't get out of this gully! It's just too slippery! Ooh. Grab on! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, it looks like he didn't find the black cat in time. Well, Smudge fell in a ditch and got stuck. Oh! And we were saving him. And you did the right thing. <laughs> well, since Smudge here happens to be a black cat as well, and you found him before six, I believe you grabbed luck by the tail after all. And here is your prize. Yummy chocolate kittens with a fortune inside. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Will you make my fortune for me, Mommy? <laughs> this year you are going to have a lot of fun. Lots of interesting stuff is waiting for you. You have good friends that will stay by your side. This would be a very good year for everyone, especially Smudge, because the best luck of all is having wonderful friends around you. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome <gasps> one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> 
we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, wow, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic towel with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Junior Archaeologists The kittens and Mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with his search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! My my, darling, it looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh! A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, good morning, morning, sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> the kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here. And there's no treasure to be found either. Ah, uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time, the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. Well, I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. <laughs> I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <gasps> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. 
Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit.